Okay, now moving on to question 5, they ask us to study the plant shown below. So as you can see here, we have a very beautiful drawing of a plant. So there's the flower, stem, leaf, and the roots. Okay, so what does the question want? Which of the following two statements are true about the plant? They want statements that are true, so remember that. So, A, it has a weak stem. Which is not true because, as you can see here, the plant is actually standing upright. So this is wrong. Okay, so just for fun, I'm going to show you what a plant with a weak stem actually looks like. Okay, so as you can see here, these are plants with a weak stem. So as you can see over here, the stem is coiled around a pole to help it to grow and reach sunlight. Okay? And same as well for this picture, like the plants are all climbing up a wall, right? It looks like they're climbing up a wall. This is because plants need sunlight to make food. And these plants that have a weak stem, they actually need a wall to help them to get higher. Okay? So now let's go back to the question. Okay, option B. Its roots make food. Now we know that this is wrong because the part of the plant that makes food is actually... That's right, the leaves, okay? The leaves make food for the plant. So option B is wrong as well. So option C, its flower helps in reproduction, which is correct, okay? So remember that the flower of a plant actually helps it to reproduce. Okay, now option D, its stem transports food to the roots, which is correct because... When the leaves make food, like over here, all the leaves, they make food, right? The stem actually helps to bring the food down, 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 all the way to the roots where the roots doesn't make food. Okay, so option C and D are correct. So that's option 4. Okay, now let's move on to question 7. So the diagram shows a plant cell. Now, before we look at this question, I want to show you the differences between a plant cell and an animal cell, okay? Okay, as you can see here, we have two cells. Which one is animal and which one is the plant cell? So the one on the left is actually the animal cell. How do we know this? I'll get into that in a bit, okay? And the one on the right is the plant cell. Okay, straight away you can notice that these two cells look very different. Why? Because the animal cell is round, round in shape, oval, sometimes maybe even a circle. But the plant cell is always in a rectangular shape. Why? This is because the plant cell has a structure called the cell wall. Okay, this is the main difference between a plant cell and an animal cell, which is the cell wall. Okay, this is important. So now let's label the two cells together. We'll start with the animal cell first, okay? I've crossed out the ribosome and the mitochondrion because you'll learn those two in secondary school, so we don't have to worry about them now, okay? Yeah, so let's look at this structure here first. Yeah, this structure is actually the nucleus. So how do you spot this structure in an animal cell? So animal cells are usually very circular, right? So you just have to look for something that is also circular and smaller than the cell. And it's usually just one, one of it. So you see, there's only one of this big circle in the animal cell. Now, let's move on to this structure over here, this arrow, okay? So this structure is actually the cell membrane, okay? And now we have one last structure to look at, which is... This, this arrow, okay, is pointing towards this, uh, this area in the animal cell. So it's like this liquid over here. So this structure is actually the cytoplasm, okay? So in the animal cell, right, majority of it is the cytoplasm. Okay, so that's the animal cell for you. So now let's label the plant cell together. So first, let's start off with this structure over here. So like the animal cell, right, the plant cell also has a nucleus, okay? 
And now let's move on to this structure over here. So just like the animal cell, a plant cell also has a cytoplasm. Okay? So moving on to this arrow right over here, it's pointing towards this inner lining of the plant cell. Can you see? Okay, so this structure is actually the cell membrane, same as the animal cell. Over here and over here, okay? And then this large center oval in the middle is the vacuole, okay? And you do not need to know, sorry. And as for the last structure over here, this one is actually the chloroplast. So this is what helps the plant make food, okay? And now, here is the cellulose cell wall. Okay, so this is what defines, this is what, this is the main difference between a plant cell and an animal cell. So the cell wall is actually a thick structure over here, like this whole white space. This is the cell wall. It is what gives the plant cell its structure. That's why the plant cell is rectangular and the animal cell is oval. Okay, so now let's jump back into the question. So, question 7 says that the table states the functions of parts A, B, C, and D. Okay, so now let's quickly label these parts together. So, part A, structure A, sorry, structure A is actually the chloroplast. Okay, and structure B, as we know, this thick structure over here, the one that gives the plant cell its shape, is called the cell wall. Animal cells do not have a cell wall, okay? Please remember this. And structure C is the nucleus. As you can see, it is different. Huh? This circle is different from the other small, small circles in the, in the plant cell. So that is how you spot a nucleus in a plant cell, okay? And structure D, this structure over here in the inside is the cell membrane. Okay, yeah, so now that we have labeled the parts, let's look at the question. So it states that structure A makes food, which is correct because the chloroplast does make food for the plant. So structure A is correct. We can put a tick over here. And structure B supports and gives the cell its shape, which is the cell wall. And that is correct as well. And structure C controls all the activities in a cell. So that is the nucleus, which is also correct. And lastly, let's look at structure D. Structure D controls the movement of substances in and out of the cell. So that's actually the job of the cell membrane. Okay, And that is also correct. And so the answer is A, B, C and D. Option 4.